presentation to the city council on August 18th. And we'll walk the public input, but we've got a lot of meetings to do in a short time. So at this point, we're just going to work real hard. A few things. We have added an additional meeting on, August, on July 31st. I know you have an email on that. But uh, we're adding an additional meeting on July 31st. And the reason for that is because on August 7th, from 3 to 6, staff is setting up a tour for us for um, communities that have implemented new design standards for their multifamily. So July 31st will be a new meeting. August 7th, we will meet at an hour earlier. Instead of 4 to 6, we'll be meeting 3 to 6 to do a tour. And any visitors who want to uh, be included, we will give you an itinerary of where we're going and what facilities we're looking at. Today, we're going to finalize the zoning that we have been working on um, for our last two meetings, and then be, we'll begin our work on uh, looking at the design standards uh, that Olathe and uh, Lee Summit have, and kind of compare them to ours, which will be easy to do since they're not existing. So anyway, I guess we'll go ahead and get started, and uh, I know, uh, oh, we have our minutes in front of us that you can look over from last week's meeting. And at this point, I'm going to turn over to Scott Allen for us to finalize the uh, zoning standards. We had a few kind of unanswered questions and a few things we need to go over. All right, we have some handouts we can start with and finish with. We had some discussion regarding open space mm -hmm. and whether the open space should include the clubhouses or not, and whether we were going to go with the open space requirements of a late or early summit. And staff is going to come back with a recommendation to us which one we thought would be easier to work with and which one would accomplish the goals that we're trying to achieve regarding more open space for multifamily developments. Okay. We felt that the we summit 40% open space requirement um, was more streamlined than the only that and um, would just make it easier to interpret. And the clubhouse will not be included as open space because it is a building. Um, right, but you're not, you're not, we don't have to mess with the active open space and we don't have to decipher between active and No, not, no, not, not, not open necessarily. Space. Now there are certain things that we were thinking about that we would like to include. We're not sure how, which is why we're hoping to discuss a little bit today. And that just is with respect to connectivity. Having some sort of um, trail or pedestrian program that will actually link one development to another, which is sure. becoming you know, very, very common Absolutely. within the uh, development in the city community. So. Now is that the connectivity on there, are we doing all asphalt, fresh rock, what are we, what's your requirements on that? Most likely asphalt, wouldn't you think that? Because yeah. it would have to be a bike trail and yeah. yeah. strollers. Strollers have a hard time with <coughs> um, yeah, uh, ADA requirements. Have you thought about what width and all? Reason, uh, reason I'm, I'm saying this is you know, don't, have a, don't have a problem with it. Yeah. It's just we 
have the eight foot wide bike paths, which are now alleyways. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, it, for a pedestrian and bike trail, they don't necessarily have to be eight feet in width. I've seen a lot that are five, and that seems to be right. appropriate um, for width, width requirements. We did look at the. Uh, well, that's really just in our open space requirements with the PRO section right now, so it's not a part of the multifamily zoning. Just once we have to think that standard out, that sounds like what I'm, I'm saying on this, not to get too far into it, I'm just trying to make examples in my mind here. I'm looking more towards uh, uh, town homes right now mm -hmm. um, on apartments and all um, the, con the connectivity and stuff they're normally going to have. Sidewalks and stuff that are connecting them all together. Um, some of them will have bike trails, but they're so tight knit. Right. Um, I'm, I'm looking at bike trails and all, it's going to be more towards the, the townhomes. Is that correct? Yes, well, it will be any development. And what, what we're trying to achieve here is that people have access from their residence to a neighboring, perhaps, commercial district. Okay. Um, so that they're not having to navigate street traffic, lack of sidewalks, something like that, to incorporate a corridor, as Tom Williams was speaking sure. about. Yeah. But to actually develop a corridor, in, in order to develop a corridor, you have to have that essential connectivity in between developments. And if they're one in a gated community? Gated communities. Not to keep putting you on the spot, I'm just no, bringing no, up some examples that it's a good question. Um, gated com communities will be, like, it would be, make sense to have some sort of connectivity, but it can be outside of the community area. <clears throat> so the residents can have access to the connectivity, but if they go outside right. the gate to do it. Yes. Okay. To be yeah. more of an amenity for people who live there. So what you're saying is the other subdivisions will have connectivity to it. Yes. And they will have access if they go outside of the gated area. Sure. Yes. Have, okay. So, for example, you have some that a friend, a group of people that live next door in another subdivision, they have easy access to get to their friends within the gated community. Or, um, conversely, on the other side, say there's a, a commercial development with amenities that they want to have access to via foot or bike, they will be able to do that. So. Well, what about the open space requirements for that gated community itself? The open space requirements still remain so at forty percent. Okay, so the gate, the as far as the bike trails on that, how's the requirements? Just the bike trails, just for that community, then. If you wanted to add an amenity that was just bike trails for that community, that would be fine. But there would need to be some sort of access point that does connect it with the rest of the community, with with the rest of the corridor. The, the city mm -hmm. homes have some of that. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, just, internally. I'm just throwing some questions out there to see where we're, where yeah. we're at. Yeah. Yeah, the goal is connectivity, which yeah. is what we're trying to do with our streets yeah. and neighborhoods regarding you know, vehicular traffic and connectivity, and we're trying to do the same thing for foot traffic. Yeah, for foot traffic. Yeah, well, especially at the raise in energy prices and things, um, this is going to become a more um, an issue, an interest investment issue within the community. I guess to kind of drill this down, basically, I know we spent uh, two meetings going over the zoning. We're basically going to be recommending the city council with a few little changes, uh, basically adopting the zoning standards that currently the Summit has, and that includes their open space. That was the one area that we had a little bit of discussion at our last meeting regarding Olathe, and staff's recommendation is that the Summit is going to be a little clearer and easier to understand with just 40% open space, you know, and not deal with passive, and which is acceptable to make it you know, easiest on everyone who has to work with the codes. So I think we've kind of addressed that, and that's going to be our recommendation to the City Council on the 18th. Uh, now we're going to kind of try and get into the design standards, and um, hopefully we can get pretty far into this today. I'm going to try and make sure we get out of here by 6 o'clock. I know we've been going over the meetings, and I apologize. Did you want to go start over with the design standards and um, take us through that so we can kind of have some discussion on the page? Or is Scott going to do that? Oh. Someone open it up. Okay. 